serious young fighter with an unblemished record. With Virgil Ortiz, you just don't know how long a fight is going to last. The undefeated Virgil Ortiz Jr. Here the kid comes. Oh, the left hand drops him. One of boxing's hottest prospects keeps the fire burning. It looks like both guys are double parked here. Oh, right hand drops. Brought us a huge right hand from the 18-year-old Virgil Ortiz early on in his pro debut. Big knockdown in the first one. Oh, a body shot, and it is it. It's over. Eddie Hernandez has stepped in. Hernandez is a man who's one and three with the oh. oh. Down goes Hernandez. Perfect right hand, end of fight. Here you go. Here we see Ortiz setting himself up with couple of, of short left hands followed by the big right. And when you have that kind of quickness, um, it amplifies power because your opponent can't react. That often doesn't see the punch coming. See, you see the eyes of where he goes down. And that was a jab that stiff one, huh? Right, it caught Garcia coming straight in. I don't know if he's getting up on that one. Eyes are closed, and it is over. A first round KO for Virgil Ortiz. He's now 3-0 with three KOs. A jab that was turned into a short hook. Wow, that's exactly what it was. Kind of a half jab, half hook. He does a nice job of stepping back a half step, and then shooting back from the front side. Punchers are born, they are not made, Beto. I like to say, look at that damage already. Ready, Grandma. says, I wasn't punished, but big right hand to the top of the head, and down goes Evandro Caballero. And the second one looks like it was uh, right on target, and the third one looks like it's a good shot. He's deducting a point as we see the replay right now from Virgil Ortiz, and that's just... So, that so... Guy before the nine minute mark. 
Nice left hook to the liver, and down goes Salgado. And let's see how this fight came to an end. Ooh, to the solar plexus, not the liver, the left hook to the solar plexus. Once he gets that timing on, he just lands that shot right where he wants to land. Ortiz goes down for the second time in the round. The right was so short. Oh. Boom, it was a counter right. Yes. Right on the point of the chin. A counter right over the jab of Masa Ortiz. Badly. Then it's time to stop the fight because then he's in danger. No question. Valdez is game, but Valdez is bloody right now. So I don't know how much longer it's going to last. Oh, and, and you know what? His corner, his corner might want to think about this now. Even and the doctor is in there looking very closely. They want to see the cut. I think the cut and the beating, all of it combined. What do we do? And landed. Another right hand. Herrera's out. Herrera's out. It's over. Well, we've been blown away by Jojo Diaz, and now we are thoroughly impressed with Virgil Ortiz. A barrage of punches, the referee was forced to step in and stop the action. And keep in mind, this came after perhaps Orozco's best round of the fight in the fifth. Same knockdown from a different angle, just everything was landing. Tease here. Solomon's got to show the referee something. He takes the knee again. That's the third knockdown. The wave it off. Fight. Sorry, right when the bell rings, Reese steps in, and that's it. Virgil Ortiz Jr., how would you rate the performance? Man, I, I give him an A. An a. Shots are just thudded. He is not oh, another right hand as Hooker takes a knee again, and this time he may not get up. He thinks he's broken his hand. has arrived at 147 pounds. It looks like his elbow is dislocated. To dislocate an elbow like that. That was the toughest test of Virgil Ortiz's career, and he aced it.